welcome back to my channel if you are new what's up my name is Pashai welcome to another collection video so today we're going to go through my powder collection I actually don't have too many powders in my collection because I'm just not a big fan <laughs> I have more normal skin borderline dry skin so powders I use them for the bare minimum the necessity anything that's not necessary I'm not really I'm not gonna feature powders okay so I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I find work for me the ones that I like and have in my collection let you guys know what my favorites are I think if you're not new to my channel you probably know what my favorites are but just gonna go through them give you guys a bit of a review give you guys some swatches and yeah real quick and simple so let's get into it so I'm actually gonna start off with face powders because I don't have too many of those I generally don't feel like face powders make much of a difference to my skin um I do full coverage glam looks all the time I don't really set my face with a face powder and my makeup lasts. Maybe because I use like really good setting sprays, but the way I tend to apply my makeup, I don't need to use no powder to finish off the look. We're gonna talk about MAC, okay? So I have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in a Dark Deep. It works because it's very light. It doesn't really add too much color to my skin. It's fine enough to wear it doesn't feel like it's caking up or adding too much coverage it gives a nice like natural finish it's not super matte it's not super like glowy it doesn't have any like shimmer in it it's just a very nice smooth it gives your skin a very smooth finish i actually have hit pad on this now and it's kind of old i've had it for a while now so maybe i need to get a new one but she's still here she still works okay so this is dark deep it definitely says it in the title skin finish literally gives a skin finish i believe they retail for around 25 ish pounds 22 pounds around there definitely worth it and this is one of the best face powders i personally have used i'm not a face powder queen so i can't really tell you about different ones i've used but for me i do like the finish of this so this is another face powder actually it's a powder foundation but I personally would use it as a setting face powder. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Again, I would use it as a face powder, but it's a powder foundation. So I got the shade 450. This is the shade and how it looks. Face powders usually look a little bit lighter and once you put them on your skin, they blend out fine. So yeah, this is the shade 450. And I used it as a foundation. I tried it as a foundation when I first did the review and I'll put the review in the description if you want to check that out. I don't like it as a powder foundation, like, I guess. If you like powder foundations, I guess, but I just didn't see it. I didn't, I didn't see it for a foundation. So for me, it got demoted to face powder. Definitely a very nice formula, very smooth, very soft. I just don't like powder foundation. I feel like it just makes me feel dry. I'm sorry, I don't like it. Definitely gives you a skin-like finish. I did say it can feel dry, but it's just, I don't like a powder all over my face. I just feel like that's dry. But the formula itself isn't drying. It's a nice, like, soft matte. Um, very comfortable, and yeah. So let's move on to the ones that I use more regularly, which are the setting powders. So these are the lighter powders that I would more so use under my eyes, sometimes on my forehead to set concealers and stuff so let's start off with one of my first ones i ever bought which is sasha buttercup oh my gosh uh this has a special place in my heart because this was the this this powder literally changed my makeup game this is what made me comfortable to wear like yellow powders under my eyes i felt like i wasn't looking like a ghost like this actually worked for me so this is the sasha buttercup powder the original one it's a super pretty oh gosh yellow it's a very like strong yellow color blends out beautifully gives a very flawless look this is definitely an og and something that just works every single time very dependable powder flashback friendly too she's just that girl okay definitely a powder i'll keep in my collection out of all the powders in my collection i feel like this is the thickest one and this really isn't thick this is a very nice consistency but this is the thickest so i noticed that when I do like put too much under my eyes or if I try and bake with this, it can leave a little bit of a cost. So I definitely prefer if I'm using this under the eyes to use it with a powder and press it in rather than bake. But this one has a little special place in my heart because Sasha really came and saved the girls. Really came and saved the girls because the flashback was disgraceful at some points. Do you guys remember Ben Nye? Whew, what a time. You had to be there. If you wasn't here for the Ben Nye situation, the Kim K highlight and contour phase, Girl, you came around when we had some good setting powders because before then we was out here But not banana powder like really that was that was, <laughs> Okay, next we're gonna talk about something that looks similar, but is not it 
we have the revolution luxury banana powder this is a pretty thick powder it has a lot of body to this if you're starting off and you want something affordable then definitely could check this out but it is a little bit like thick she's a little thick i mean you can work with her i think with skill you can work with anything to be honest but i'm not sure i'd recommend this to like a beginner because i just feel like it can get a little ashy it can get a little ashy so i wouldn't super recommend this it definitely can be flashback friendly i can link a video to when i made it proper flashback friendly and it worked for me but at the same time i think it takes a little bit of a skill like this isn't an easy powder just put on your eyes and you're gone you gotta kind of like really press it in and do what you need to do but um yeah i have this in my collection it's just here chilling so the next three powders are like my main three they're like the destiny's child of the powders <laughs> in my collection so we're gonna start off with miss fenty miss fenty beauty this is the pro footer setting powder in honey this shade is so beautiful i love the shade of this previously i've shown you guys pretty yellow powders and this one was like one of my first powders that i was like oh, perfect because as much as i can use the sasha powder and i can use the yellow powders for under my eyes i just prefer a more honey like more like brown undertone to my yellow powders because i think they're more complementary to my skin tone i love a bright under eye every now and then but sometimes you don't want super bright under eyes sometimes you just want something a little bit more subtle something more neutral and that something just blends into your skin you get 28 grams nearly 30 grams but i feel like it's more than that i honestly feel like it's more than that like this is a pretty big powder but i'm not complaining because i got my money's worth this has a really nice like light scent it's like the same scent as the soft matte foundation very light simple scent but it smells good so this powder is very finely milled that's one thing i can say it's very finely milled and it's very smooth because a nice soft effect only thing about this is i just it reached dry on me i don't know do you know what though let me say it whenever i use this powder i use it with the fancy concealer always i never really have used it with any other concealers i always use it with fenty so do you know what i think that's something i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and just powder with a different concealer and come back to you guys and let you guys know but all the times i've tried this powder i just feel a bit dry in my eyes i just feel like i don't know i don't know if it just doesn't work with my skin type it just doesn't settle under the eyes it doesn't give me a flawless like snatch under eye it just looks very huh. I don't know if it's because it's meant to give a more natural look i don't know it just doesn't give under my eyes i'm gonna try it again i really want to really like enjoy it because i have so much left but i just find it doesn't give me the look i'm going for so the next powder is laura mercier oh my gosh everybody loves laura mercier powder the quality of it is like i can't even explain it it's very finely milled and it's very soft like the texture is very soft very smooth particles very fine and it just it does what needs to be done there's no powder i have in my collection that does what laura does like she gives flawless she gives glam she gives a lift to the eyes like it's just very flawless so i only tried it when they got translucent honey because honestly i felt like translucent was too light for me i'm at this point where it's 2021 i don't want to have to keep making things work for me i feel like i should buy products that just work for me i definitely get a lot of compliments when i use this like even in videos People can notice the difference when I use this or I use like my regular palette. Like, oh my gosh, your under eyes look so good. And it's like, yeah, because I use this. So usually I would go for this if I want an uh, extra glam look. I want my under eyes to be super, super, super flawless. I would grab this. And Laura Mercier is definitely that girl. Okay, that girl. So my last powder is from Huda Beauty. And this is the Easy Bake Loose Powder in the shade Knafa. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Absolutely love it. This is like the perfect honey shade. It's more so yellow. It's a yellow powder, but it has a nice depth, kind of like the Fenty, but just a little bit more yellow than that. And this powder is not hyped about. I know a lot of people love this powder and say it's really good, but generally this is a very good powder. I use it literally every time I set my makeup, every single time. This is like my favorite powder. I can say that now. This is literally my favorite powder, my go-to. I always, always, always use it. Never says me wrong. When I tell you, I've set my powder, I've done my setting spray, and I've had tears in my eyes because you know sometimes, like, I'm one of them people. If the wind blows too much, my eyes start watering. If I find something too funny and I'm actually, like, really crying of laughter, and my makeup, 
where is it going because the girl is sitting like this powder definitely is very dependable and she is my like holy grail powder my go-to i always use her if i travel anywhere she's coming with like she holds it down so this is liquid alpha shade and i love it the way i like to use this is i like to press it in with a brush i don't bake with this just because i feel like it works best that way and it's just more flawless so that's how i prefer to use it um, but yeah absolutely love this i would highly 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 recommend if you're looking for a really good under eye powder and you got a little coiny you want to spend her dot is definitely a powder i'd recommend so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's powder collection video don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up subscribe if you haven't if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed you might as well click the subscribe and as always i will see you guys in my next one <laughs>